Top 5 things to grind to become rich in islands. Now if you're a new shop owner or you just want some items to grind to actually go ahead and sell to some published islands, I'm going to be giving you 5 in this video, so stay tuned for all of them 5. Now the first one is treasure chests. Now treasure chests are a bit interesting since you can get multiple different island treasure chests. Now the basic treasure chest you can go ahead and sell up to 18 million, but I would probably see around 10 million if you're just selling it to one of these published islands but with any other island one what's like slime island wizard island desert island and etc you'll go ahead and sell them for around 4 million at your own shop but probably around 2 million at anyone else's shop now the good thing about treasure chests is you get a map every single day when pirate dv spawns on your island and now how you're gonna get it is just talk to him and then he'll go ahead and give you a map now i'm gonna head my way to maple island now as I am here, we're going to go ahead and just go over to the other side of the map where the X is. And there we go, we have a Maple Island's treasure chest. Now for the next one, it is Pink Sticky Gears. Now this is one of the most common ones since a lot of people actually like this method. Now Pink Sticky Gears can go ahead and sell for probably around 2 million plus at your own shop, but if you actually wanted to go ahead and sell it at any other published island, probably only around 1 million. Now it's pretty simple to go ahead and actually farm Pink Sticky Gears. You can get a really basic sword like a Cactus Spike, a Acura Main Sword, or just a basic Iron Sword or something like that, and just head my way to Slime Island. Alright, now we're at Slime Island, now all you have to pretty much do is just go ahead and kill these little slimes. But if you go ahead and wait for someone to actually go ahead and spawn at the slime boss, you'll be able to go ahead and get those pink sticky gears way faster. Now even if you are getting blue and green sticky gears, they can still sell for money so it's still worth it. Now the next one is Infernal Dragon Eggs. Now Infernal Dragon Eggs could probably sell for around 8 million in your own shop and probably around 4 million in anyone else's shop. Now you must be a little confused since it actually takes you a while to actually get into the underworld. Well, let me explain. Well, while you're actually going ahead and killing every single boss, you can go ahead and get other items. Say for example, while you're killing Wizard Boss, you can go ahead and get a Lightning Skepta. And also while you're killing Wizard Boss, you can get red pages, green pages, and just all the pages. And then with those pages, you can go ahead and craft a spell book and go ahead and sell them for more money. Now the good thing about killing all the other bosses is you can get other items to craft weapons and etc like that. So that's the good thing about doing this one. Now you can have a big risk of actually opening them, but you can actually go ahead and double your profit. Now if you actually get the Opal Axe Hilt, they sell for around 11 million coins. But if you get the Opal Pickaxe Hilt, they could sell for around 20 million coins. And then if you get the Opal Sword Hilt, they could sell for around 12 million to 13 million coins. But then if you actually get the Hilt, and then you actually go ahead and get some Opal and craft the actual Dragon Slayer, they can sell for around 40 million coins. Now it is a risk taking to open them, but you can go ahead and get so much more money by opening them and getting these items. And now another thing that you can actually get in the Infernal Egg is the Infernal Flame. Now I think in my opinion the Infernal Egg is one of the most overpowered things in this list since you can go ahead and get so many items by just opening it and they are all worth millions of coins. Now the next one is pretty simple and basic but it's propellers. Now propellers are quite easy to get if you just sit there for a little bit. Now the propellers can sell for around 8 million coins on your own island and you can sell them to people for around 5 to 4 million at any other published shop. Now propellers, they're quite easy to get, that's why I put them on this list. And now the good thing about this one is that it's quite chill as well. Since you can go ahead and watch a movie, watch YouTube if you have like a double monitor or a TV next to you or something like that, while you go ahead and fish. Now it's good since it's quite chill and relaxing and you don't have to do much for it, so that's why I put it on this list. Now the last and final one, what can make you up to billions of coins per hour, what is event? items. Now say for example the new Mushroom Obby event. There's got the new trophy, the new sword, and the new bow. So let me just go to a random shop right now and you should be able to find one of these shops quite easily what are just buying and selling the new items. Okay, so this shop right here actually has the items right here. Now they're buying the trophy for a billion coins, they're buying the sword for a billion coins, and the bow for 700 million. 
Now, they're not actually selling them since you can't go higher than a billion. But yeah, as you can see, these event items are going for so much. Even if you just want to sell to these published islands, you could earn just of these three items if you grinded all three. 2.7 billion coins in the matter of 30 seconds. What is, like, insane in my opinion. Now, click on this video if you want 10 shop tips to start earning billions.